Hello and welcome to I Didn't Know That Was Possible in Technology. It's a new series where I just want to find something interesting that I'm like, wait, that's possible now? It's like new superpowers you could do. Wait, what with technology? And that's why I want to share on this episode one interesting thing that I found that I think you'll find interesting now. So what if we live in a world? Well, let's put it this way. We now live in a world where you can write any text and have a computer draw that image. It could draw it in the most amazing artistic styles. And so this is a new area called AI generative art, also called prompt engineering or prompt art making. Like this is such a fascinating space because um, you don't have to be artistic or have skills to create um, a drawing from your imagination, for example. So let's dive in to take a look at it at my desktop to take a look at this is called stable diffusion. The interesting thing about stable diffusion, which is a new AI generated art or art generator, um, is that you can actually download this software, this application, and you could actually run it on a local computer. So context previously when pre there's a lot of other like um, AI art generators out there, but they're they, you have to pay to play. Uh, they usually have lots of restrictions. They're only hosted in the cloud. Um, and so this is the first time that you could actually download this software and generate custom made art that's never been seen in the history of the world using your computer, which is crazy. So here's a website. So you could actually play with this in your browser. So for example, all you have to do is enter a text or prompt. So for example, draw me a picture of a high tech solar punk utopia in the Amazon rainforest. And if you type that into the prompt right up here, then the AI generator is going to generate what it thinks um, is related as closely to that phrase that you put in. And so we could do another one, say, for example, a small cabin on top of a snowy mountain in the style of a Disney art station. And so when you enter that, you get stuff like this. These aren't, it was just generated in less than 20 seconds. And like, these don't exist anywhere. That's wild. And so what does this mean for what's possible now? So this reminds me of like, say for example, when Arduino um, came around for artists, they can now get into robotics and coding and they didn't have to be a robotic or coder. Like it was real, it was, these tools make it very easy for you to create whatever is in your imagination. And I think that's what's the powerful of these tools is starting off with these tools is um, they're going to, starting off with the AI, AI tools is that they're going to work with collaboration with you in the sense that you are going to collaborate with these tools to create something that's never been created before. Um, and so the great example of this that I, I love thinking about is say, for example, you've always wanted to write a children's book and you have, you're a great writer. You, you think of a great story and then you write your book out and you're like, man, I would love to put um, imagery to tell this story even more. Like, for example, yeah. And so what you could do is write the prompts for your story and then have the AI generate the art. And you've now turned your text book into a picture book. And the best way I could visually explain this, this just came out today, which is kind of why I'm like kind of nerding out about looking at this. Um, there's a YouTube channel called Corridor Crew. They're a visual art production house in Los Angeles. Um, they make amazing um, YouTube videos. And so one of the videos that they posted today is called, Is This the Death of VFX? I'm not going to play it, but I highly recommend I'll put the link below to watch that video because that video is going to show you what's possible that you could download this software. You could preload it with pictures of you and then it will use its AI imagery and you to create art and put you in the story. They've animated a full, almost like a comic book animated story, all using AI generation. I highly recommend you check out that video to see like, wait, this is possible now with these tools? Like that's, this is, that's, 
we just heard about this like a couple, like not, a couple years ago like this is it's advancing so fast which is amazing and so this is spreading into different areas such as for art um, you have um, AI that can help generate art that's never been generated before they also have algorithms now that can help you programs for example you can write a prompt that says write me a computer function that calculates some number somewhere for example and then the computer will they basically <clears throat> they train these computers on learning models so they just feed it a bunch of data so this one they fed it with a bunch of uh, photos and imagery online and the, the other one they fed it with like github data I swear I'm not talking like I'm talking like this I like I know what I'm talking about I don't I'm just fascinated about this and like as I'm learning more and diving deeper into this like it's amazing that it's not far away that you're going to be running these things in your business or in your life to have a competitive advantage no joke but it really is really opening up the door of what's possible and there's no limitations that you could create which is wild so now I like to think of you partnering with these algorithms or these apps as an artist, as an entrepreneur, as someone who wants to create something that's never been generated before, these tools, these are just the start of them. They're going to have more libraries built that are specialized for different areas. And soon you're going to be working with, like right now, I have this AI um, that edits my audio for this sound for this like this soundtrack or the audio that's coming out from this microphone it's going to go through a, a software that has an algorithm that's going to pick out it's going to do sound engineering it picks out all the hisses the hums the pops the background noise it goes through corrects all of it in like 30 seconds and then spits out this amazingly clean audio file all from this algorithm that's specially tailored to clean up audio files that's wild. Like I'm not an audio engineer, but like with that tool, that makes me, I'm not, I'm not an audio engineer, but that makes me like, that's incredibly powerful to create. You are now a self-creating producer. Like you can produce anything from your imagination with these tools. So that's why I really want to share the power of these, this AI generated art, these AI generators, um, this prompt engineering, like this is very, very amazing that these tools are available to download access and use for you to collaborate with to use your imagination to come up with something new and novel that no one has ever seen before so this is just a fascinating area it's going to change over time to see this evolve so i'll follow up with more and share more of what's possible so enjoy the day just want to share this hope you guys have a great day stay blessed